The next method is print file. For this one, we'll need two more controls, so go back to design view and add the print dialog and the print document. Rename both of these controls and set the print dialog's document property to the print document we just created. Now back to code view. Display the newly created print dialog and end if the user hits cancel. To hold the text, we'll add a stream reader field to the class called sprint. This stream will encapsulate the text that we're going to print with the help of a memory stream. Next, we register a print page event handler and then execute the print method which will call this handler. That's all for this method, so let's catch and display any exceptions and end by closing the stream. Now on to the print page event handler. First, this method will calculate the number of lines that can fit onto a page. Then, we loop through each line in the stream until we reach either the end of the page or the end of the stream. In the loop, we draw the line onto the page using the drawString method. Finally, we flag whether we're done printing or if there's any more pages left, in which case this handler will get called again.